Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in this new series of educational videos, we will be covering the practical demonstration for the joint play evaluation and treatment for the knee joint. Now for the physiotherapy students, I would like to mention that the knee joint is not only the largest joint of the human body, but there are other interesting facts about this joint. This joint is formed by the articulation of the two largest bone of the human body which are the femur and the tibia. Knee joint also harbors the largest seismoid bone which is the patella. This joint has the largest joint cavity and also the largest joint capsule. Now in this video we will be covering the clinical skills that are required to perform the joint play evaluation for the tibial external rotation and tibial internal rotation over the femur. Now as we all know that the tibial external rotation is important for locking the knee joint in the open kinematic chain. Whereas it is important that the tibia should rotate medially or internally to unlock the knee joint in the open kinematic chain. So it is important that this particular biomechanical aspect of the knee joint remains intact for the normal functioning of the knee joint. So to evaluate the tibial rotational joint place, make the patient assume the short sitting position. The therapist is going to sit by the side of the patient that needs to be tested. And then the left hand, thumb and index finger are going to be placed over the knee joint space or cavity, both on the medial as well as the lateral side. Now it is quite easy to identify the knee joint space, just go for palpation of the apex of the patella and then go medially and laterally and you are going to feel that gap between the tibia and the femur down we can have this tibial condyle and up we can see the femoral condyle. Now the right hand of the therapist is then going to hold the anterior proximal part of the ankle with the fingers wrapping posteriorly. Now with a firm grip the therapist is going to rotate the tibia internally and the movements are going to be felt by the thumb and the index finger. Now without loosening this tension further force will be added up and the joint play will be assessed whether as springy or hard. Now similarly to assess for the external rotation joint play, the tibia is going to be taken into the external rotation and after all the slack has been taken up, further force will be added to assess for the external rotation joint play which will again be assessed as springy or hard. Hard end fields are needed to be treated. Now one of the way to restore the tibial rotational joint play is to make the patient lie down in the supine lying position. Now the therapist is going to ask the patient to brace himself by holding on to the edge of the treatment table on both sides. Now the therapist is going to stand with the dominant foot behind that is the left hand leg is going to be forward and the right foot is going to be back. Now to restore the tibial external to internal rotation joint play, the right hand is going to hold the anterior lower portion of the leg and the right forearm is going to come from the lateral side of the patient's right foot. Now what the right hand and the forearm are going to do is, the right hand and forearm both are going to internally rotate the tibia over the femur. The left hand is going to support the right hand, both the fingers are going to be clasped posteriorly and with the tibia internally rotated, the therapist is going to keep the spine straight and then is going to lean back and traction the knee joint while maintaining the tibia into the internal rotation. And now without losing this tension, a quick impulse is going to be delivered that is the therapist is going to internally rotate and traction the knee joint at the same time. Now in the similar manner, if the therapist wants to restore the internal to external rotation joint play of the tibia, then this time for the right knee joint, the left hand of the therapist is going to come from the anterior side and is going to hold the anterior lower portion of the patient's leg. This time the forearm is going to come from the medial side of the foot and the hand and forearm both acting as leverage to externally rotate the tibia. The right hand is going to reinforce the left hand, fingers are going to be clasped posteriorly and with the tibia rotated externally, again the therapist is going to keep the spine straight, 
traction the knee joint keeping the tibia externally rotated and then without loosening this tension is going to add a quick impulse in the external rotation and further traction to manipulate the knee joint. So this was all about the practical demonstration on how to assess and treat the tibial rotational joint play in the knee joint. The technique is named as the tibial rotation with traction manipulation technique. So see you all in our next video. Till then, keep, keep learning, learning, keep sharing and stay connected.